I'm sharing the screen. Yes, very important is the reported speech. What will be the reported speech? And how you are going to change the simple direct speech to indirect speech? Already I have shared, you can see already I have shared the rules. Today, I'm going to tell you about the simple sentence uh, as well as reported speech from uh, how to change the bar form, how to change the pronoun form. And these are the tables I'm going to sh share with you. So you, here you can see the reported speech. Already we have discussed about the reported speech and I have told you the, about the reported speech. What is the reported speech? That there will be two types. Here you can see this is the first, this is the first part, it is called the first part and it is called the second part. This is called the first part and it is called the second part. Already we have discussed about that. So after that, indirect speech, how to become or some basic rules are regarding the direct speech to indirect speech. Put the statement within inverted comma, that is indirect, indirect speech. If the reported uh, reporting verb is separated from the direct speech by a comma, the first bar, uh, word in inverted commas begins with capital letter. These are all the uh, direct speech. It will not be the indirect speech, but it is the direct speech. So on the basis of the direct speech, so we can have that inverted comma, direct speech by comma, and commas begins with the capital letter. So this is the all the direct speech. Now, very important are the tables. Very important about the tables. Here you can see, just I'm sharing and I will discuss about those things. Otherwise, you would not recognize. Number one, first remove separating commas and inverted commas and use connector D. That will be in simple tails. That will be in simple tense. And not only that will be in the simple tense, but I have also discussed about that. That will be only, only in the part of the assertive sentence. If that will be the part of the assertive sentence, we are going to do that. So here, inverted comma will be there. Instead of inverted comma, we should put that instead of inverted comma. We know about this. Number two is that uh, when there is an object in a reporting verb, change set to two, set to become told. So we had already discussed about that set to will become told. Set to will become told and says to that will become tells. That we had already discussed about this. Now we are going to the next part. Now we are going to the next part where the rules is that said, and here you can see that I worked, see uh, Shiva said, I work in an AM, a, MNC, Shiva said. So here there is no objective reporting, very important because you have asked the question, sir, where can we use said? Where uh, can we use uh, said to instead of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, instead of told here, this is the rules. When there is no object in a reporting verb, Shiva said, if that will be Shiva said to, then it will be changed into told. If only said will be used, then we should not change into told. Instead of that, said will remain same in the indirect speech. Said will remain same in the indirect speech. Very important. Now we are going to the next one. This is very important. These are the things very important. Change of verb forms. Is, am, are, was, where. Change the person, change the pronoun. First person according to the subject. Now will be then, ego will be before, today will be that day last night, the previous night, and the night before, and next week, the following week, here and there, hither and thither, these, that, the, so, come and go. Come and go. So yesterday, I mean, day before yesterday, we have discussed about, and Ishida has asked me the question that, uh, uh, will it be come or will it be go? This is one of the examples. Today, we are going for the example also. 
Here also you can see that did, if we have uh, used did had and third form of the verb, that means it will be like past, it will be like past perfect. It will be past perfect. Was, where will become had been, will become would, shall become should, can become put. So these are the things, so these are the things we need to use. All is in the study material. Don't worry, all in the study material. Now, next part, we are going to the next part. Very important part is that change of the tense. As I have discussed about that change, tense is very important. Here you can see the simple changes to simple present to simple past or simple past. How we are going to change. She said, I get the first prize. Here in the first, uh, I mean, uh, in the first place, I have seen that it is in the past. And here it is in the present. So past plus present will equal be past. So here you can see that she said that she got the first prize. So I changes to she according to subject. Here you can see that Mohit said to Nitu, you look very nice in this dress. Here said to in the first part, it is uh, past tense. And in the second part, it is present tense. So past tense that is said to will become told that will be used, she will be used, and present tense will become the past tense as we have discussed about this. This is the simple changes of simple past. We have already discussed about that. Just for the revision, just I am going through that. Now we are going to the next part. Here is the next part. Very important this. Why uh, it is very important? Because it is the reported speech is universal truth. If that is universal truth, then we could not change anything. Very important. If it will be universal truth, we could not change anything. Here you can see that my father said the earth is round. Here in the first part, we can see past. Here in the second part, we can see present tense, but it is a universal truth. So nothing will be changed. Everything will be written as in like the direct speech, despite that inverted comma will become that. Here, my father said that the art is round. It is written here like this. Our teacher said to us, respecting elders is a virtue. So said to will become told. Why said to will become told? Because in this first part, our teacher is taking one object and the object is us. So here our teacher told us that respecting elders is a virtue. That means that respecting elders is a virtue, is a universal tool. We cannot change it. So this is the exception. I'm going through the exception. These are the exception also. Now in the next part, present continuous to past continuous. How we are going to change Present continuous to past continuous. As you can see, the direct speech, I said to her, you are doing a good job. The past conti present continuous tense in the second part of the direct speech. So you are doing a good job. Here you can see that she was doing a good job. So said to will become told, that will be used. And after that, you become she. And here are doing, that will become was doing. So present continuous directly will become the past continuous form. Now we are coming to this stage. Very important stage is the present perfect tense to past perfect tense. If that will be in the present perfect tense, perfect tense that is I have watched the movie earlier. I said that I had watched the movie earlier. You can, you can see that have will become had. So in the indirect speech, Present perfect tense will become the past perfect tense, as you can see here. Here it is a uh, present perfect continuous to past perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous will become the past perfect continuous. You can see here also that 
on sale it is in the first part and in the second part women have been tolerating a lot for years in the second part it is in the present perfect continuous tense so what will be changed only have will be changed in the perfect continuous tense only one thing will be changed that is have will become had so nothing will be changed you can see only had will be changed so now present perfect tense will become the past perfect tense as you can see in this table also just i am going through it now see now very important is the past tense how the two uh, parts will be the past tense suppose brother part number 1 in the direct speech that will be in the past and part number 2 in the uh, direct speech that will be in the past so both past will be there both simple past will be there that means that it is become past perfect tense it is in the past tense simple past tense and now it has become the past perfect tense very important past perfect tense because so many students have made the mistakes that uh, two past tense will be used if there will be two past tense will be used in the direct speech then indirect speech past part second part that will become from simple past to past perfect tense here you can see also that the ketan said to the mother you made my day with such a delicious meal ketan told mother that she had made his day with such a delicious meal that is illustrated here we got here yesterday said manu manu said they had got their the previous day so what will be changed we will be changed got will be changed here will be changed yesterday will be changed everything will be changed only except said will not be changed why said will not be changed because manu is not taking any object so that is why we could should not use told instead of said we can use said only now we are going to the next one after that i will take your question don't worry after that i will take your question now it is in the past continuous that will be past perfect continuous also here also the students have made the mistakes aryan said he was calling you that means that was or where will be used that is past continuous tense plus action verb plus ing that will be used in the past continuous tense what will be the past perfect continuous tense it will be had plus been plus action verb plus ing if you want to write in your copy you can write also in your copy also i was playing football in the morning Dinar said that he had been playing football in the morning. Also, same has been disclosed. Now we are going to the past perfect. Past perfect will remain same. Past perfect will remain same. If that is, I had finished my job before I came. She had finished her job before I came. Past perfect remains past perfect. that it will be remain same now we are going to the future tense future tense so in future tense will will become would and shall will become should that is two, two things we need to do shall will will be uh, used as would shall will be used as should anurag said i will give india a very nice movie next year anurag said he would give india a very nice movie the coming year so only will i will be changed and will will be changed nothing will be changed here also same thing in the future continuous as you can see that shall be will become uh, should be and will be will become would be nothing will be changed here here also you can see the future perfect tense future perfect tense almost everything is same shall and will have shall would be would so everything will be shall or will 
plus had. So what will be the change? Everything will be would have. If that is should or shall, that is also become would have. That is also become would have. Now, come here. Uh, I mean, uh, day before yesterday, we have already discussed about that. I think uh, we have already discussed from here. We have already discussed from this. Where did you come from? So already we have discussed what, what we have discussed that uh, if there will be any do verb, we should not use any do verb. So instead of do verb, if or whether will be used. If or whether will be used. And if there will be a WH word, then WH word will be used after the object. Here is the object Onu said to me, which movie do you like most? So Onu asked me which movie I like the most. So straight away, we can use it. Now we are going to the next important part, which we have not discussed about it. Today we are going to discuss about it. Students, turn on your video. All the students, turn on your video. I can ask you the question and after that, I, I will take your answer. All the students, turn on your video. I can see that so many students are there, they have not turned on their videos. Turn on your videos, otherwise I will remove you. Everything has been recorded. If anyone will not turn on the video, then he or she will be removed. Okay, so now uh, imperative sentence. Can anyone tell me what is the imperative sentence? Give the one example about the imperative sentence. Who can tell me about the imperative sentence? Give one example about the imperative sentence. Who can give me? So for example, close the door. Imperative yes. sentences. Absolutely. Any other, anyone else? Next, after home, anyone else? What will be the imperative sentence? Sir, sir can, you, uh, can I give one example? Yes, yes, yes. Sir, uh, one example can be that, uh, can you please switch on the fan? Here it is used as a request. Okay. So here you can see that uh, rules of the changing imperative sentence into direct uh, indirect sentence. What will be the rules? Very important. What will be the rules? Here you can see the sentences of imperative sentences. The teacher said to the students, quickly settle down and open your books. Very important. Imperative sentence will start with action verb. Every imperative sentence will start with imp uh, uh, action verb or any other verb. Uh, maybe there will be helping verbs like do also. <laughs> Here also we can see quickly settle down and open your books. So quickly settle down and open your books. Quickly is uh, used as the adverb and settle down is the verb. So here you can see also Rafi said to money, please pass the salt and paper. Pari said to her friend, Take proper rest. So everything, every sentence will start with the action verb or the verb. So instead of that, here you can see instead of that, we should use nothing else but two. We need to use only two. We need to use only two. So here you can see the teacher ordered. So what will uh, what will be change? Set to can be order. Write in your copy also. It can be ordered. It can be requested. It can be advised. All are related to imperative sentence. And uh, it can be suggestion or suggested. So these are the things need to be included here. So instead of say to, we have used, sometimes we have used asked, Sometimes we have used told, 
but here in the imperative sentence only in the imperative sentence we need to use order or requested or advised or suggested so it will be suggested so inverted comma in the place of inverted comma we need to use to and after to only the verb will be used because after to verb will be used it will become an infinite or infinitive here you can see the teacher ordered the student to settle down quickly and open their books now quickly is acting like adverb why quickly is acting like adverb adverb has been qualified which is called adverb which qualifies the verb here settle down how she has settled down she has settled down quickly so on the basis of the verb we can identify quickly as adverb so here imperative sentence after imperative sentence in the first part said to instead of said to we need to use to yeah sorry said to we need to use order request or advice or suggested suggested in between the inverted comma we need to use to and after to there should be one thing we need to use that is the verb we need to use the verb only the verb here in the second sentence also rakhi said to mani please pass the salt and pepper so that means the said to will become requested why it is become requested because you can see that please it is written in the second part of the direct direct speech so please will be used so that means please will be uh, replaced with the requested so rakhi requested money to pass the salt and pepper to pass the salt and the pepper pass will be the action verb so before the pass we need to use to in the third sentence you can see that pari said to her friends take proper rest so take proper rest means it is not an order it is not a request but it is advised because you need to take the proper rest so that is why take proper rest has been uh, described as advised so here said to will become advised and take proper rest that will also be request uh, required to take proper rest so it is called the imperative sentence any question from the students in regarding the imperative sentence because if that is be that will be completed then i need to go to the exclamatory sentence anything no okay. sir Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, Ishan. Uh, sir, I told no question. Okay, thank you, thank you. So now we are going to the next part. Very important part is the exclamatory sentence into indirect speech. Very important types. Here you can see the exclamatory sentence. Wow, alas. oops hurray all have been used exclamatory sentence that means that exclamatory sentence it means the exclamation or exclaim so instead of said to or said we need to use exclaim nothing else only we used exclaim no other thing will be used only exclaim write in your copy it should be write in your copy so ritu said wow that is beautiful so that is exclaim now with the mood of the exclamation exclamation can be joyful exclamation can be sorrowful exclamation can be extreme happiness exclamation can be extreme sadness so on the basis of the second part of the directed speech we need to decide what will be used after the exclamation what will be used after the exclamation that here you can see wow that is beautiful that means that we exclaim and exclaim with joy or happiness so here we can write exclaimed with joy here you can see that ritu exclaimed with joy that it was beautiful 
Here you can see in the second, he said, alas, his heart beats have stopped. He exclaimed with sorrow that his heart beats had stopped. So what do we need to use? Said to instead of said to, we need to use exclaimed with joy or a happiness or a sorrow. Alas, you should cut this. After that, instead of here, we can use that. After his heart beats have stops, as we can see that in the first second part of the directed speech, the first part in the directed speech, it, if it, it will be past tense. Second part will be present tense. Then the uh, final part will be the indirect part will be the past tense that is used here. That is used here. Okay. So here you can give the, we have given the four examples. She said, oops, the power is cut. She exclaimed that the power is cut. So everything will be used here. Any question from this part? No, sir. No, sir. I think sir. all you have realized, all you have understood. Yes. Sir, I am having one question. Yes. That yes. you told now that he said, alas, his heart beats have stopped. Then he explained with uh, he exclaimed with sorrow that he his heart with sorrow, uh, exclaim with grief. Anything can be used. We can use exclaim in sorrow. We can use exclaim in grief. Both will be correct. Okay, sir. Means, uh, okay. It's for... Uh, okay, sir. So... Sir, I also have one thing to ask. Mm -hmm. So here is the last part. Yes, Om. Please. Please be hurry up. I need to uh, complete uh, today's lesson. Yes, yes sir. Sir, so, like in this exclamatory sentences, do we have to explain that what kind of uh, emotion is expressed from the sentence? Absolutely. On the basis of the emotion, you need to write whether it is um, uh, exclaiming happiness, whether it is exclaiming joy, whether it is exclaiming grief or sorrow. That will be expressed. Because you cannot express anything in second part. Suppose if you are writing something here in this part, you could not express anything. Whatever the exclamation, whatever the expression in the exclamation sentence, that will be exclaimed here. Exclaimed with joy, exclaimed with sorrow, exclaimed with grief, exclaimed with happiness. So that will be used here. Okay. okay sir. Any question? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Just uh, uh, today I am ending the uh, meeting because uh, I have some urgent uh, important things to do. Thank you.